Hello everybody, my dear friends, clients, astrology lovers, my dear subscribers. Uh, welcome to my channel. My name is Olga Vasilchuk and um, I would like to present you today the astrological predictions for the month of November 2019. I will talk about the transits, about the actual transit aspects between the planets. I don't do horoscopes for the signs of the zodiac. Um, I offer personalized astrological predictions for my clients and these predictions are based on the exact, on the accurate data, uh, birth data. The date of birth, the place of birth and the rectified time of birth. Um, the transit aspects have uh, influence on all of us but they influence us, each of us, in a different way, in a different measure also. But it's still interesting to see, and it's important to know, what transit aspects are formed at this moment, uh, during the period of time that interest you. You have always to see um, whether your planets, what the planets of your natal chart are touched by the transit planets. If it's not the case, the background transit aspects will not have an impact on your personal situation. In the description of this video you will find the list of all the uh, transit aspects of the month with the, well, I mentioned the day, the date and also the degree of the signs where the transit planets form their aspects, okay? Uh, so what, what can I say uh, about the month of November? I will mention the most the most important, the most interesting transit aspects. Uh, I will not talk about all of them, of course, and I will uh, talk more in detail about the lunar phases, about the full moon and the, moon, the new moon of the month. So generally speaking, the month of November 2019 is the time to reconsider the direction of uh, movement taken in the past. Uh, by the end of November and also in the beginning of December, we will most likely have to change the direction of development. And that new direction will be decisive during uh, a long period of time in the future. The realistic approach uh, to the situations of our life is important now, but at the same time, don't forget to be optimistic. Um, and Yes, the background aspect, one of the background aspects of the month is the opposition of Mars to Uranus. It will be in force between November 19 and 27. Another background aspect, but in this case, this time positive, harmonious, is the conjunction of Venus and Jupiter um, between November 19 and 28. We will also have stellium in Capricorn, starting from November 26 and until uh, March 20, uh, 31st, 2020. Why? Because on the um, 31st of March 2020, uh, Mars and Saturn will enter at the same time the sign of Aquarius, meaning that Jupiter, Pluto and the uh, uh, south node Ketu will remain, they will still stay in Capricorn. But until the end of March 2020, we will have Pluto, Jupiter, Ketu, Saturn, or also Mars by that time, in Capricorn. So the energies of Capricorn will dominate the transit uh, uh, picture uh, in the end of November. But before that, we have to go through other transit aspects. Of course, we have Uranus retrograde, the entire month of November and also of December. It will be, become direct on uh, the 11th of January 2020. Neptune is retrograde until November 27. And Mercury got retrograde yesterday on the 31st of October. It will be retrograde until November 20. So until November 21st, the main rhythm of the events of the month will be dictated by Mercury retrograde in Scorpio. Um, during the entire month, Mercury will have many important aspects. And the full moon of November 12th will fall on its conjunction with the Sun, on the conjunction of Mercury with the Sun. And in November, Mercury will repeat being retrograde 
the harmonious aspect with Saturn, Neptune, and Pluto that he formed in October. But it's not everything. In addition to that, he will do it twice. He will form these aspects with the mentioned planets twice in November. First during the retrograde movement, and then already in its direct phase. During its direct phase. We must expect a period of reassessment and of the analysis of past steps and decisions during the retrograde phase of Mercury. We uh, will have the opportunity to correct what can be corrected and to add new elements to the projects in order to make them uh, viable, existing, still in life. Old information may be important, may become important to us. Old information. Uh, old information can be a part of uh, the news that we will receive. And all decisions that previously seemed unacceptable can now become the best way out uh, from our difficulties. They may uh, become relevant. We may use all decisions to resolve our current, actual, present problems. So during the uh, upcoming month of November, we will renew old relationships, old ties. But it's always advised, of course, during the retrograde phase of Mercury, not to rely too much on uh, new offers, new propositions, and new encounters. Uh, it's possible to discover old secrets during the Mercury retrograde, to unmask someone, to reveal ambiguous intentions hidden behind the decent decor. Uh, Mercury retrograde proposes us to return to the past, to make some revision, to reflect on our orientation, where we go, to think about where we go, to analyze our mistakes and to get rid of all the things that are irrelevant and useless. Old friends can come back into our life, so try to build relationships with them, with the uh, old but still friends, in another way, in a different way. Try to develop relationships, um, already existing relationships, in a, in a different form, in a different way. Um, but during this transit, it's better not to start new learning processes and new educational projects. It would be more useful to summarize the accumulated knowledge and to continue studying the material already known and or already assimilated. So the period up to November 20 until the end of the retrograde uh, phase of Mercury, it's, an, it's not a favorable period for the purchase of real estate, for the start of a new business and for its expansion, for all the important financial steps. It's better to, to, um, to let pass this transit of Mercury retrograde. It's also an unfavorable time for any major purchase, for the purchase of vehicles, uh, cars, motorcycles, of the office equipment, uh, of the appliances, and of the means of communication. Computer, laptop, iPad, cell phones. It's, not, it's better not to buy them during Mercury retrograde. And after the 21st of November, we are entering a period where we can summarize the information received during the retrograde phase of the planet, but it's better to launch all the significant startups and to announce new sustainable development projects only after November 26, after the end of the stationary phase of Mercury, because the stationary phase of the planet that, is, that can be basically retrograde, is extremely critical. It's even worse than the retrograde phase, because anything that you will start during, during the stationary phase uh, will be frozen in the future, totally, totally blocked. So the, end of the, the very end of the month, the days between the 27th and the 30th of November, it's a good time for new beginnings, for the start of new relationships, uh, of new cooperation and business partnerships. This is one of the most favorable time for the new businesses, for the new yeah, project businesses, plans in many uh, different spheres of your life, many areas of your life, the end of the month. Until November 22nd, we are under the influence of the energies of the sign of Scorpio, of course. 
Um, this sign encourages us to improve ourselves by transforming the world around us. The energetic field of Scorpio stimulates a high level of intensity and creates crisis, critical crisis situations. During the period of time when uh, the energies of Scorpio are dominating, dangerous situations can occur more often. We can receive news about death, or we can face secrets, we can find ourselves in situations of radical transformation at the extreme borders of existence when confronted to death or and the end of resources. From November 23rd, with an ingression of the sun into the sign of Sagittarius, this mutable fire sign, Sagittarius, will push us beyond the horizons of everyday life, will expand the circle of our interests and uh, the um, sphere of our influence will make us think about unity of everything and will point the way forward to um, achieve a common goal or common goals in plural. The internal energy of November is determined by Mars. Why? In the beginning and in the end of November, Mars will be in tense aspects with the high, with the superior, uh, very heavy planets. In the beginning of November, Mars is in square with Pluto on uh, November 5th. And in the end of the month, in a position with Uranus on November 24. Um, so during this period, during the days close to the exact aspects, there is a high probability of social unrest, of revolutionary actions in a number of countries, of street riots, of terrorist attacks. Uh, we can expect the intensification of military conflicts, the increased numbers of... Um, disasters, among others, of natural disasters. So the square of Mars with the Pluto could be named as the background aspect of November. It of creates, of course, a lot of tension. There will be um, a very uh, big, huge desire to achieve our goal, our goals at any cost, and the ability to fight and the ability to win using force can provoke conflicts and even cruelty in our behavior. The position of Mars and Uranus will accelerate our affairs, of course, but we risk uh, being overwhelmed with energy, the uh, uh, thirst for the new and for the original actions, for the actions out of the ordinary will bring in our life, of, without doubt, the renewal, new things, new scenarios, but it's important to look for um, for equilibrium, for, for the balance as well, because the rush, the lack of reflection in the actions, the excessive love for freedom and impulsiveness will create tension. Be careful and very attentive. This aspect, the opposition Mars Uranus, creates dangerous situations in life. But the positive uh, thing of the month and the positive thing of the beginning of the month is the ingression of Venus and Sagittarius that took place on November uh, for 1st, today actually, the 1st of November, Venus will have actually two ingressions during the month. Um, it will enter Sagittarius on the 1st of November and it will enter Capricorn on the 25th of November. So the transit of Venus and Sagittarius will give us a lot of joy, sociability and goodwill. The influence of Sagittarius on Venus will manifest itself in the desire to travel, to explore the world, to broaden our consciousness and to Communicate with people who share life principles, who have similar philosophy of life, or who have uh, broader horizons. So as I said, November 27th, Venus and uh, the sign of a Capricorn, where it will stay until December 20. Mm, so Venus enters Capricorn the day after the new moon of November 26th. So the position of Venus and Capricorn disciplines people, focuses their attention on achieving common goals with a partner and helps them to plan their personal activities uh, with for the future, um, being very organized and structured. Feelings are often hidden in the depth of the soul during the transit of Venus and Capricorn, and they are not shown to others, but their control will become easy and painless, and maintaining self-discipline will be not difficult uh, either at all. Relationships will be characterized by such qualities as constancy, constancy, fidelity, and reliability. Venus conjunct Jupiter 
on November 24th in the 28th degree of Sagittarius. And this is a absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous transit aspect. Will offer us the generosity of the soul, the capacity to love with the wise love, the ability to make others happy. We will experience emotional intensification and we will have, I hope, um, all of us, the majority of us, we will have new opportunities in at work, in love, in relationships, and thanks to this uh, gorgeous aspect, conjunction Venus-Jupiter, we can receive what we deserve. What about other ingressions? Mars is in Libra until November 18, when it is, uh, he is weakened, it's an exile in Libra, a certain indecision and instability in acts, hesitation and the habit of waiting, pros and cons will characterize our way of acting. But at the same time, on the other hand, uh, the need for diplomacy, the desire to coordinate everything, the need for beauty and harmony, as well as the will to fight and defend the fair cause, will get intensified. This is another characteristic of the transit of Mars by the sign of Libra. On November 19, Mars enters the sign of Scorpio, where it will stay until the 3rd of January. And it's very strong, of course, in Scorpio. It's in the sign of its rulership. This transit encourages us to show willingness and perseverance, patience and uh, discernment. There will be the desire for excellence and the need to eliminate all that is un unnecessary, useless. But excessive criticism and an excessively categoric approach can create tensions. So what about the moon phases of the month? November 12th, the full moon in the 20th degree of Taurus, 1951, uh, 8.34 a.m. Uh, Standard Eastern Time, New York and Montreal. It's a pretty constructive full moon, you know. If in late October and in the early November you, we you experience, you have experienced repeated or typical problems, you need to think about their cause and to be attentive during this full moon because the answer may be given to you, the answer to your questions. You may see the solution of your problems uh, around this full moon. On the day of the full moon, Mercury retrograde is in the conjunction with the sun. It means that important decisions, negotiations on relevant and still unresolved issues, uh, especially on the theme, um, in the sphere of finances, common finances, profits and financial relationships, will reach their apogee and you will have to address these issues and to solve them. So disputes over property, over common property, problems related to um, disposition of common property and common finances may get complicated. But now it's better not to make important decisions, especially about the subjects of finance. The reason is that it's possible that the information will be hidden or missing because of the Mercury, or because of the retrograde phase of Mercury. And therefore the assessment of the situation, the assessment of the opportunities and of the risks will be erroneous. Yes, the sun is in a position to the moon. This is the configuration of the full moon. We know that. But at the same time, we have other uh, very positive, harmonious background aspects in the theme of this full moon. The sun is still in trine with the Neptune, and Mercury is on the eve of its trine with the Neptune. The sun and Mercury in sextile are in sextile with the Saturn and Pluto. Actually, the sun in, the, in conjunction with the Mercury retrograde will be... Uh, a part will be part of the configuration of the basic, basic style. So we have the basic style, one trine, two sextiles, extremely harmonious, positive background configuration of the of the chart of the full moon. November 26, the new moon uh, in Sagittarius, 0403, 10:05 uh, a.m. Standard Eastern Time, New York and Montreal. The energies of this new moon reinforce the desire to go beyond the usual, usual settings, favoring travels and new begin, beginnings. This new moon gives rise to new projects related to education abroad, to the law, to publishing, to all kinds of design projects, to IT technologies, to tourism and foreign cooperation. This lunar cycle opens up new opportunities for 
high education, religion, long journeys, long distant, distant trips, and launching business abroad. The ruler of this new moon in Sagittarius, Jupiter, is magnificently aspected. It's in conjunction with Venus that we already mentioned, in sextile with the Mars and in trine with Uranus. And this new moon opens the eclipse season, one month before the first of the two or sometimes of the three eclipses of the season. Okay, uh, We will have um, on the 26th of December the solar eclipse in the fourth degree of Capricorn and the second eclipse we will have on the 10th of January 2020, 10th of January the eclipse of the moon, the lunar eclipse in the 20th degree of Cancer. So get ready. I will talk about the eclipse, of course, in one month, but we have to keep in mind that we are entering one month before the first eclipse of the season, we enter in the shadow, in the energy of the eclipses season, of the eclipses season, yes. Mm, so the last days of November and the beginning of December is the period of implementation of prepared and thoughtful plans and projects. On November 26, Venus enters Capricorn, we said that, and after her on December, say on the 2nd of December, December 2, Jupiter enters Capricorn. So it means that this is the most favorable period of November, of the end of, the, of November, as well of the first half of December. These days are suitable for launching and promoting new projects and for any important change. It's a great time for new beginnings in work and business, for shopping, for the start of new schooling program, programs for uh, changes of job, uh, for taking a new direction in business. These days are favorable for the interaction with the official institutions, with the superiors and with the elderly people, because Venus and Jupiter will enter Capricorn, so the energy of Capricorn will be dominating and favoring all these steps and actions that I mentioned. So, my friends, I you will find the list of my services on my website, astroesotericpro.com. Uh, take care of yourself. Good luck for the month of November. I will be live on the 7th of November with the Astro Tarot mini, mini, small readings, I mean, like the answers to your questions uh, for the symbolic contribution on the 7th of November on YouTube. I also have an Instagram uh, account uh, with the name of Astro Esoteric. Astro Esoteric, yes. So thank you for your time and for your attention and talk to you very soon. Goodbye.